All right. Okay. Um, how do I do the intro? How do I do an intro? I, I don't know how to do an intro. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. No, let's see. I can't say welcome back to the channel. That's cringe. That's that's cringe. Hey guys, today we're gonna be ranking every single Terraria boss. That I, I see. I like stutter over my words. I I'm stuttering. I'm stuttering, man. Making me angry. It's making me angry. Hey guys, today we're gonna be ranking every single Terraria boss. This is just vanilla Terraria, but it does include the newer bosses like Deer Clops and the Queen Slime. But I'm also doing all of the like smaller mini bosses like the Flying Dutchman or the Ogre. I'm doing I'm doing all of them. I'm doing all of them. I'm even doing the pillars. I'm even doing the pillars. All right, so we're just gonna start with the King Slime. All right, so the King Slime, super easy. King Slime is just super easy. You can usually kill him in like on your first or second try. All you gotta do is jump over him. There's really there's not much to his fight. He's he's just a really easy boss to do. I have Cthulhu on the other hand is is it? I have Cthulhu is easy. The I have Cthulhu is easy to defeat when you have the right gear. If you are not prepared for it, the I have Cthulhu is going to be a pain in the ass. So I'm going to move it from super easy to easy. I feel as if the Eye of Cthulhu is definitely harder than the King Slime, but I don't feel as if the Eye of Cthulhu is, like, super difficult. So, Eye of Cthulhu and easy. Okay. The Destroyer of Worlds. That's his name, right? Destroyer of Worlds. I cannot- I can never- I always get the worms mixed up. Like, I always call this one Destroyer of Worlds, right? I just call them both the Destroyer. This one's the Destroyer of Worlds, right? I'm gonna call him the Destroyer of Worlds. So the Destroyer of Worlds is a, it's a very fun boss, I think. I think it's like one of the more intricate bosses out of them all. I just like the fact that it's like a straight line, it's a worm, and then when you break a part of it, it splits into like two bosses. And then you got two projectiles coming at you, but then when you split both of those, you got four, it's like a Hydra. When you cut off its head, two more grow back. That's kind of how the worm works. But if you have like a slime mount, that's really all you need. You, you usually don't even really need a slime mount. I'm going to put it in easy. No, wait. No, I'm going to put it in super easy. Because usually, usually I'll like kill some of the destroyer to like get the, um, uh, the, um, uh, the, um, uh, the scales. So I can make better weaponry to kill the Eye of Cthulhu. So I'm going to put the destroyer in super easy. The Brain of Cthulhu. I think the Brain of Cthulhu is a, is, it, it, it varies. It, it definitely varies. I'm taking a drink. Give me a fucking minute. Oh my god. I love Coke so much, man. I'm taking another drink. Oh my god. Anyways, Brain of Cthulhu. Easy. Brain of Cthulhu is pretty easy. Now, the Queen Bee is a completely different story. I fucking hate the Queen Bee. The Queen Bee has always been unbelievably difficult for me, and I always usually wait till I've, like... Either I'm about to, or I have defeated the Wall of Flesh to kill the Queen Bee. I usually just skip over the Queen Bee, because fuck the Bee. I hate her. I hate her so much. Going in hard. Fucking hate the Queen Bee. She's so difficult, I can never kill her without having Hellstone equipment. It's just... Uh, I keep calling it a her. It's like, oh, it's a Queen. I'm fucking stupid. No, I hate the Queen Bee. Queen Bee is, like, one of the hardest bosses in this game. Or, like, the point you're at when you should be fighting her. The Skeletron. I think the Skeletron is fairly easy. I think you definitely need to make, like, an arena for it. But I think the Skeletron is pretty easy. Like, I can usually beat the Skeletron. Like, I can beat the Skeletron with, like, a yo-yo. I think the Skeletron is pretty easy. Okay, Deer Clops, I can't really say anything about. Because Deer Clops, like, only came out recently. And the only time I've ever actually fought him is on my achievement hunting video i just killed it with the zenith or during my fucking um calamity playthrough i killed it with like the the, the dark prism or whatever it's called so i don't know super easy he was easy as fuck killed him with the zenith in two seconds the wall of flesh i think is like kind of difficult but i don't think it's too difficult because all you have all you really have to do is stay far back and shoot it with like a bow or something like, as long as you're far enough away, it won't cause any harm to you. I'm gonna put it in not too difficult. Flying Dutchmans, they're easy as fuck. I mean, 
Oh, but I guess for the point where you're at in the game when you're when you're fighting them, I guess it's kind of difficult to kill them. No, I would say they're super easy. They just take a long time to kill. I would say because all they do is like drop little cannonballs below them, and like drop their the fucking pirates out of it. But other than that, it's a super easy boss. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. It's super fucking easy. It just takes a long time to kill. Okay, the Dark Mage. The Dark Mage, you usually fight, like, after the Wall of Flesh. If you're fighting it before the Wall of Flesh, I don't really know what you're doing because you don't get anything from him. I mean, I guess you can, but it's... There's really no need to, like, farm for it or anything. I usually just do it for fun, like, after the Wall of Flesh, like boost my confidence after dying in the caves over and over and over to like fucking turtles god i hate the turtles if turtles were on here they'd have a new fucking category i hate turtles in this game god i fucking hate turtles in this game man fuck turtles i fucking hate turtles they're the biggest pain in the ass dark mage like i was saying before the dark mage gives you nothing to offer you usually fight it like right after wall of flesh if you're fighting it beforehand you're not playing the game right you're just fighting it to fight it you usually just fight this guy to boost your morale after dying in the fucking caves over and over again it just it makes you feel better so this guy is in super easy super duper easy i hate the queen slime i can never figure out how to beat her properly without having like post mechanical bosses loot queen slime is hard as fuck i hate the queen slime I just, I just don't get how to beat her. How do how do people beat her so well? I, I mean, I've never ever made an arena for her, ever. And I don't play on it, because midway through the fight, she can start flying. There's no point. Queen Slime is hard. It's hard as hell. I hate the Queen Slime. The Twins. I would say the Twins aren't too difficult. I'd say the Twins aren't too difficult. So what I do when I fight the Twins is I make two platforms. Two super long platforms. Put a teleporter on each end of the platform. So I have four teleporters. But the platform on top has got to be smaller. Or else it won't work. Platform on top is a little bit smaller than the one on the bottom. And you link the teleporters that are on like the same side. So when you're running on the bottom row. And the twins are getting too close to you. And you need to loop around them and go back. They're really fast. You can't just like jump around them. You have to use a teleporter to get around them. So I run all the way to the end of the bottom one. Hit the teleporter, and since the top one is smaller, I teleport on the other side of them, and I just keep running. It's pretty easy. You just need, like, you just need, like, the clockwork assault rifle and some cursed bullets, and you'll be fine. The destroyer, <clears throat> super easy. There's really no issue with the destroyer. All you need to do is be high enough in the air, and you need the Daedalus Stormbow, and that's really all you need. Destroyer is super duper easy to defeat. Now, I've always kind of struggled with the Skeletron Prime. Up until recently, when I figured out that I should just use i bullets on his ass. Using i bullets on him just... Because he has a... The issue with the Skeletron Prime is that he has a shit ton of defense. But the i bullets take all that defense away, or at least a shit ton of it. So, without all that defense, he's just left vulnerable. You shoot him a few times with i bullets... And then you switch to like cursed bullets or a different weapon and you're you're good you're good to go it's i would have put them in hard but because of me figuring out icor bullets i'm gonna put them in not too difficult the ogres from the tier two like the second wave of the old man's army or the old one's army or whatever the fuck his name is i don't know he's a bartender um but he the ogre is is a pain in the ass i think the ogre is easy enough to kill it's just one has a lot of health and two throws this this like ball of snot this disgusting ball of snot that when it gets on you you are slow for like 25 seconds like an entire 25 seconds you're just slow as hell it may it makes the, th the 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 army to fight like the old one's army a lot harder to do when you get hit with the snot ball but the ogre itself like not including any of that because we're just talking about the bosses the ogre itself i would put it easy it's not as easy as the Dark Mage, but it's definitely easier than, like, the rest of these guys up here. The Plantera. Okay, I'm gonna get some shit for this. Like, some people aren't gonna understand what I'm thinking about this. Plantera, super easy. Plantera is one of the freest bosses in the game. The Plantera, the way I fight, the way I fight the Plantera, so easy. It is so easy to defeat her. What you're gonna wanna do, 
I'm kind of like explaining a tutorial for how I do some of these bosses. But what you want to gonna what, what you're gonna want to do for the Plantera is kind of like what you did for the twins. For the twins, we made the teleporter system, and you're gonna want to do that for the same thing with the Plantera. You're gonna want to make a big ass rectangle underground in the jungle, with the Plantera bulb being on the bottom. So like, let's say this is a Plantera bulb, right? Like this is the ground floor Plantera bulb. You want to make a big ass rectangle around. You want to put a teleporter here. And you're going to want to make a row of platforms. So we'll put a teleporter here, here, and here. You have a teleporter in the four corners that you can walk on, right? You want to link this teleporter up with this one and this teleporter up with this one. Once you link those up, all you got to do is stand by the teleporter. You stand right here. Guy gets too close. So this is the plan Terry. He's like, he's coming closer. He's coming closer. You hit the teleporter and you teleport over here and you jump up to the top. So he's going, so the Plantera is moving like this in like a diagonal line instead of a straight line. Cause that'll, that'll help you, that'll help like the, the, the projectiles not hit you as much. So if you just keep doing that, so Plantera comes over to you, boom, teleport over here, go up. Plantera's coming to you, boom, teleport over here, go down. You just repeat that. What I do to make it even easier is that this is, this is the wall. This is the, the barrier of the the arena right you put a teleporter like right down here that leads right into the arena and you put a teleporter about right up here right next to the nurse's room you can heal instantly and then all you gotta do is like sprint over to the teleporter and you're like broom, broom, and you're back in the fight you can go broom, 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 and you're all the way over here plantera is the easiest boss in this game the easiest boss in this game the morning wood. Morning wood is, you know, super easy. I don't, I don't think there's anything else to do it. The morning wood is just a super easy boss. The pumpkin. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's easy. I don't know, cause I, I don't think I can compare it to like the rest of these guys up here. But I think, it, I think it's like in between these two. I think it's easier. I think it's harder than all of these guys. But I think it's, like, easier than all of these guys. So I'm going to put him at the like the, the very end of easy. I don't know. I'm going to put him in easy. Because I think he's harder than all of these guys. But he can become a pain in the ass sometimes. The ever scream is... I'm going to put it right next to the other tree. It's super duper easy. There's like really nothing to like hide from. I mean, all he does is shoot pine needles at you. What are you going to do? He throws ornaments and shoots pine needles at you. Same thing with the Santa NK1. Santa NK1, super duper easy. All of these holiday based bosses are always going to be super easy, except for the Ice Queen. The Ice Queen to me is kind of a pain in the ass, is what I would say, is kind of a pain in the ass. I'm going to put it in not too difficult, I think it kind of relates to these bosses, it's just, it's kind of a pain in the ass. Alright, the Golem. Golem is... I'm going to put him in easy only because every time I fought him, I've always been able to kill him first try, but I always kill him with like two health left. It's a lot of dodging and a lot of like, I don't know, it's just a lot of dodging the projectiles, I should say, because he shoots a lot of projectiles. But other than that, he's a fairly easy boss, especially when you have like guns like the, the Piranha gun. Oh my God, is easy. Martian Saucer, I'm fucking crying. I hate the Martian Saucer. I can I can really never beat the Martian Saucer until I've beaten Moon Lord. The Martian Saucer makes me bawl my eyes out. Oh my god, I hate the Martian Saucer. Because he, he shoots like this big ass laser beam down that always fucking kills me. He shoots heat seeking missiles, a barrage of lasers, then the super big laser. Oh my god, he makes me cry every time I try to farm for his weapons. Betsy... I've only fought Betsy a handful of times. I typically don't even really do the Old Ones Army. Like, it, it, it doesn't drop, like, the best stuff, so I don't really bother to do it. But I'd say Betsy is easy. I mean, if I'm able to kill Betsy along with killing, like, the entire army to protect the crystal, I think Betsy's a fairly easy boss. Duke Fishron? Oh, my God. I don't want to say I'm crying, but I'm, Duke Fish Run is definitely hard. If you don't have like a teleporter system or anything, you are most likely going to lose. 
unless you're like flying up really fast using like the jetpack from the steampunker and then falling fast down using the slimy saddle or whatever you aren't going to win without teleporters duke fishron is way too fast he's way too fast i'm definitely not crying but he's very difficult to beat empress of light holy shit i am fucking crying empress of light is the hardest boss here the empress of light i've i've only fought a handful of times i've only fought her like like i can probably count how many times I've, I've fought her on like one hand but that is only because she is so difficult she moves everywhere so you can never like fire a straight like stream of bullets at her and she just shoots so much shit all this rainbow stuff that she shoots does so much damage it's actually nuts how hard she is that's why I, like even after moon lord i still struggle to kill her sometimes like even with the zenith sometimes i struggle i don't know if it's because i'm really really ass at the game but i just think the empress of light is super duper difficult i i don't fuck with the empress of light lunatic cultist i'm gonna put him in heart lunatic cultist is definitely harder than all of these guys but i think he rivals these guys kind of he shoots a lot of shit and if when he goes into that phase where he like pulls up like the ritualistic symbol or whatever and there's like a bunch of different clones of him and you shoot the wrong one he spawns more clones those clones spawn more shit to shoot at you so if you if you fuck up once you're most likely going to die and have to restart time for the pillars i've already pretty much ranked them in order of how much i fucking hate them solar pillar i am crying the solar pillar when you come to it like the for the first time and you don't have any weapons from like the lunar vents or anything is hard as fuck it takes so long to defeat this pillar because if you stay on the ground all of the enemy all of the super fast ground enemies attack you but if you jump up in the air that worm is like oh do you, do you guys smell that oh my god the player is in the air he's flying i'm gonna he knows when you're in the air the worm knows when you're in the air it's it's impo it's like impossible it is the hardest pillar here easily the nebula pillar is hard as fuck but only for one reason i'm gonna put it in hard but for one reason and one reason only those stupid fucking brain guys that shoot lasers at you and then when you go to attack them they teleport to a different position are the epitome of a difficult enemy i hate them so much they're so fucking annoying i can just i don't know how to kill them properly because like I, I shoot over here they teleport over here i just i i can't really defeat them very well and i die a lot to this pillar not as much as the solar pillar but i do die a lot to this pillar the vortex pillar is going in not too difficult the vortex pillar is going in not too difficult because the enemies are easy to kill and there's like an abundance of them so you can kill the, the pillar pretty easily but it's when they hit you with the one debuff that makes you like float in the sky in one horizontal position and you're like stuck like that for a few seconds is when they deal a shit ton of damage and you can't get out of it until the debuff is gone and once the debuff is gone they just inflict it right back to you the stardust pillar the easiest pillar there is the stardust pillar is the easiest pillar because they got these guys called the star cells and these star cell guys they like duplicate when you kill them when you kill them like five of them pop out and you just gotta wait for them to grow once they once they all grow and you like train a bunch of them in like a circle you pop them all and then they all come back with like double and you just do that over and over you can kill the tower within just a few minutes it's it's actually it's easy as fuck it's an easy pillar last but not least moon lord if you've seen my master mode video you can tell that the moon lord is a very very difficult boss for me but also the master mode video is when i was like really first getting into terraria so i i don't i don't know like i didn't know like the boss mechanics or anything but now that i've played terraria for a bit i've memorized the moon lord's moves i know what he does it, it's very easy to dodge his attacks now they do a lot of damage but as long as you listen and you count how many times he shoots the lasers from his hands it is an easy boss i'm gonna go due to damage how much he outputs i'm gonna put him in not too difficult but once you learn like when he shoots his attacks it's pretty easy to memorize it and dodge them because they'll shoot like from this hand once from this hand like twice and they'll shoot from this hand like twice and then the big beam comes down and all you have to do is dodge that beam and you're pretty much good if you get hit with that beam you're fucked 
But other than that, you're pretty much good. Now I'm going to go back through, look at these guys, and see if I should change anything. There's really only one change I want to make. I want to move the Wall of Flesh down one. I think the Wall of Flesh is an easy boss. I think he's much easier than all of these guys. Because all, you, all you've got to do is run away and shoot like a bow at him. Like, me personally, I have Hellstone Armor. I've got Hermes Boots. And I've got the Hellwing Bow. Other than that, you don't need anything. You've just got to run from him. That's really all you need. But, um, yeah, this is my tier list. Um, let me know if this tier list is valid or anything. Let me know if you disagree or agree with me. I know most of you are going to agree with me. Other than the people that suck at fighting the Plantera. Plantera's an easy boss. Just get good. It's a skill. It's a skill issue. It's a skill difference. But let me know in the comments whether you guys agree with me, you disagree with me. And let me know if you want me to do another tier list like this. Because there are a lot of other mod bosses like the Calamity bosses that I could rank. And let me tell you, I have some very strong opinions about these guys. Some very, very strong opinions about those Calamity bosses. But yeah, that's it for now. Bye-bye.